week been like for you going from uh, playing to, to get some minutes here and there? Um, it's just, it's been a very, it's been a blessing to me, I feel like, because I've worked hard over the past month and just I've, I've been able to show Coach Barnes and I think he has some trust in me now after I've gone out there and played very confident. So over these past two or three weeks, like you said, and we have um, Josiah out and we had Julian and Tyreek out today. So just when I'm get, when I get my minutes called, when he calls my name, I'm ready to play. Did anything change for you in that month in terms of understanding or just confidence or, or where you were at that, that helped translate to these minutes? Uh, yeah, I feel like my confidence changed over the past month. Like towards the summer, I was guarding Zakai, Santi, he was real hard. I just had to look myself in the mirror and say, I got to go out there with confidence, play my hardest, and I feel like the coaches really seen that. PJ, what's been the one key thing to earning Coach Barnes' trust in your opinion? Uh, the key thing is not turning the ball over and defending. How do you feel like you've grown kind of in those two areas since you arrived on campus? Um, defending wise, just guarding the guy, y'all know how good and quick and fast he is. So, I mean, playing against him every day in practice is just only making me better. And then turning the ball over as well, I'm just, I'm slowing down. I'm reading the guys, I'm scanning the areas and uh, just playing my game, being confident as well. Right. You get a win like tonight, not just winning, but by how much y'all did do for y'all's confidence after a tough moment? Uh, I think it would always, a big win would boost our confidence a lot, but even after the losses, we all stick together and know that we know what we can do as a one as a team. So, winning by 40 tonight, or however much it was, it was just a really big confidence boost as well to play Arkansas next week. Well, yeah. DJ, obviously in the back here. Sorry, uh, coming from Knoxville Catholic, you a star there. When you come here and you have to earn your way back into the rotation, how hard has that process been for you? Uh, yeah, it's been really hard. I would say like after the Gonzaga game when I only played one minute or so It really like uh, Woke me up I would say because at Catholic I playing the whole game never coming out during AAU I'm playing the whole game never coming out and now I'm surrounded by a lot of guys that are competitive and really good So I just had to go real harder in practice treat practice like my games. So PJ, is it fair to assume that Zakai has been the guy that has taken you under his wing the most? Uh, you said, is it fair? Is, has he been the guy that's kind of guided you and, and, and been that veteran, even though he's still kind of young? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. He's been the guy that took me under his wing. We're roommates, me, him, and Tobey, we all roommates. So as soon as I got here, I got here in like May, and he was the only guy here, me and him working out with Coach G, and uh, he would just take me to Chick-fil-A in his car and stuff like that. And we always played a game together. We got a real good relationship off the court and on the court, too. So, How do you feel like he's helped you the most from a basketball perspective? Uh, he's helped me a lot. Just my defense, I would say, like, he's a quick guy. So you got to back off of him when guarding him. And if you back up too far, he can shoot it. So, I mean, it's not really a lot of guys like him in the SEC. So when I get to play and go out there, it helps me. It's way like it's, it feels like it's easier a little bit guarding other defenders. Karthik Ben David. Uh, you know, Isaiah got his first career bucket today. He's an Oxford native. You're an Oxford area guy who got his first career bucket earlier this year. Uh, is it cool to see that moment for him? Uh, yeah, it's really it's a really uh, cool moment for my guy Zay. Uh, we always joke around because he went to CAK and I went to Catholic, so we would always say. I'll beat them by this amount, and he'll beat us by this amount. But he was a senior, and I wasn't a Catholic at the time. But uh, he's a really good guard, and usually I'm on scout team. I was on scout team sometime this year as well with him, and he's a really good player. PJ, with you at Catholic and Eli Sparkman at South Carolina went to Baylor, did that feel like a, a D2 game when y'all were out there guarding each other? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was real cool to play against him as well. Just um, playing against him in Baylor it was real fun. We talked after the game too, so. It was good seeing him and playing against him. DJ on that finish, what, what, what was that? What, how did you finish that, I guess? Because that was in traffic with a lot of bigs around. Right. Uh, I knew that number 30, I actually played against him in AAU. He played for Team Charlotte, and I knew he was like a real guy that can jump real high. He's athletic, so I kind of knew I had to reverse it and uh, get into his body so he wouldn't block it. So that's how. Everybody good? BJ, thanks, man. Thanks, BJ. Thanks, BJ. Thanks, BJ. Appreciate you.